3750X Stack iOS Software Upgrade. Hello, hello, and welcome. So, why such a primitive subject, 3750X and iOS Upgrade? It's okay. Let this be a video for a newcomer in the world of Cisco. Let's get started. What I have is two 3750X 48P. And uh, looking at my console, you can see that they're already in stack and I'm connected to the second switch in that stack. So switch would will show you the stacking information. Right now there's two switches and I have the priority higher set for the switch one so it always become the master. Uh, the switch numbers here are very important for you to know. Uh, when you're building a stack you would want to put one, two, three, four, however many members you have in the stack in that order when you install them on the rack. Uh, in case somehow um, you installed it and when you build the stack on the rack and the number got changed, uh, you can use renumber command uh, to make sure your top to bottom switch are numbered one, two, three, four, five. There are two ways you can upgrade iOS software on a Cisco switch. One, the simple way is to copy the file from specific source to the flash and then changing the boot parameter. The second option, which is the best option for upgrading the stack, would be the archive command. Uh, let's dig deeper. Copy question would show you the locations you can copy the specific bin file that's the format the iOS comes in we have SCP, TFTP, USB um, uh, and then HTTPS, FTP these are a few options you can copy the files to the USB is always the best options here now USB 0 is the primary switch USB port USB um, Flash 01 would be the secondary switch USB port. Uh, similarly, you have Flash 1, Flash 2, and Flash. So Flash is the primary switch Flash. And then Flash 1 is the same, but it indicates that the switch 1's Flash. And Flash 2 would be switch 2 in the stack, and it's Flash. Let's take a look at both the flashes of my switch 1 and switch 2. Uh, flash 1, I have this particular bin file. Let me show you same, same location. It's just denoted with the 1. And flash 2 would be my switch 2's location. Now, there is a folder that uh, I wanted to show you the difference between flash 1 and flash 2 you can see this is a folder directory um, and the rest of them are files so why do I have that particular folder on switch 2 and not switch 1 well I deleted it from switch 1 just to show you the difference between flash 1 and flash 2 and again my stack was upgraded to 15.2.4 E9 but I downgraded to 15.02 SE8 just to show you the upgrade process and I will directly be upgrading it to 15.2 SE12 with one process and then I will upgrade it to 15.2.4 E9 using the second stack update process. I have my USB drive on the switch one. Let's take a look. I do have a C12 bin file and I do have this particular one in tar and this particular one in tar folder. So you need the dot tar version of the iOS to use the archive command to upgrade the stack. Difference between copying it to individual flash and changing the parameter is that it's a manual process where you can just use the archive command to upgrade the primary and that process itself upgrade the secondary and all the members in your switch stack. Let's try option one. 
before you upgrade or copy a specific file from a source to the flash memory of each switch members in the stack make sure you have ample flash storage uh, on flash uh, we see this particular file uh, se12 bin um, this is the size of that particular file and on flash i have that much free and on flash 2 I have that much free space so clearly we can go in sorry flash 2 doesn't have enough so I will have to delete this particular directory directory let's show you how to delete a directory so the command would be delete um, recursive and let's see what do we have you can use force and then flash 2 it's a specific flash folder you are pointing at and this is the folder so here you go it will take few seconds and it will clear the directory show flash 2 all right I have plenty storage now that folder is gone so let's copy our file from USB to this flash one and flash two. Let's pause this video. All right, so it copied to flash one. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for flash two. Just up arrow key and two. Again, I'll pause the video and come back when this is done. All right, so let's verify. Dear, I have that AC12 being found in flash one, flash two. I have both the files. So currently, I'm running with show boot command. You can see that I am uh, using the boot path for AC8 on switch one, and same with switch two. I'm gonna just go ahead and change that path to the new AC12 and uh, there would be a keyword so let's take a look copy no. boot system switch all make sure you have that switch all that will make sure that all switch in the stack boot from this particular file and i will use my file name All right, so that is all. Make sure you save, and I will now restart my switch, or, or and then it will restart the stack. It should boot with that one, so I will pause the video or speed the video up, so you get to see the process. It will go through a long process of upgrading um, some codes, and uh, eventually it will boot up. So. takes quite a long time doesn't it well try 3850s they take even longer and 3650 as well show boot 
this will show you that now the flash is upgraded to this particular file and everything for both switch 1 and switch 2 same file so every time this stack will restart they will boot from these, this particular file from the flash let's try the option 2 iOS upgrade using the archive command command for that would be archive download software um, with this there are several parameters that you can take a look of uh, the most one that I use leave old software what it does it keeps the existing uh, software may that be the dot fin bin file all the specific folder of a previous dot tar software installation and it continues to go with the new dot tar file and creates the specific folder for that version of course reload is another one uh, by default this um, process just like the previous one does not reload the switch you can have it programmed to reload it before uh, any of uh, with both the options, there is a verification of that specific iOS happens by the upgrade process. So I can see the reload option would be very useful if you are to uh, do a several stack switches software upgrade. You can simply go with the reload and it will reload the switch and be ready um, after the specific software installation. Also, a bonus point when a switch boots it loads the dot bin file or the iOS software into the random access memory and you can delete the dot bin file or the specific folder from the flash because it's just been copied to the memory and that's why the override option is also another one specifically for the older switches if the flash is very small and you do not have enough uh, flash memory storage to load the new file you could use the slash override option and here I'm talking about this old primitive subject more than I need to most probably you guys already know about the whole process and uh, if you have specific questions about all these different parameters please let me know in the comment and I would be happy to answer those questions uh, without further ado let's start the second process using download uh, archive command so I need to capture the file name from my USB Tar file 307 and I do have plenty let's take a look at the flash too remember I've done the same thing for the pre previous way of doing the software upgrade and this one seems like has plenty too so I'm going to proceed with the archive download software location would be my USB flash 0 just don't want to hear the ding sound using this particular folder or .tar file location and there we go uh, with the upgrade process it will assess the space required for this new software file installation and if it goes through it will go ahead and copy the file from USB to flash 1 and flash 2 and proceed with the continue proceed with the unpacking and installing it, it will also update the boot parameter for you uh, it's going to take a few while so I'm going to speed up this process So as you can see, it goes through unpacking and installing all this bunch of directories and folders on Switch 1, and then it does the same thing for Switch 2. Uh, that's the fun of the archive, that it does it for all the members of your stack. We'll go ahead and take a look at uh, Show Boot, just to take a look at uh, the location. Yep, Flash updated to this folder and this particular 
bin file and also same for the switch to uh, configuration points to config that text which hasn't changed so nothing to worry about let's go ahead and save and reload the switch stack I will pause this and or I'll come back when this is done Okay, came back and let's see the status. The best way to verify is show version. Uh, this will let you know both your Switch 1 and Switch 2 and what version they are running. 12.2.4, that's what you wanted, right? Oh, I've showed you initially the option to verify show boot, which the archive process already set for you. So once that reboot, you can use show version command to validate that you are actually running the ones you have installed it with. In any ways, let's show boot validated once. You know you are running off of Flash and this particular folder and with this bin file. So friend, there you have it. Another lengthy video to just show you how to upgrade 3750X switch stack with two switches. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope this video has helped you in your quest to learn something. And please leave your comments and feedback if you want to know anything specific to Cisco, Aruba, switching and routing. And I will do my best to post a video regarding that subject. Please check out my previous videos regarding Cisco VPC and Arista MLAG and different technology. I tried my best to provide uh, essential good information and subscribe if you like it. Thank you.